Welcome back guys, it's Brian with NeverState.com and thank you for joining me for one of the days of my deload week. Now for those of you who don't know what a deload week is, it's basically where you take a week and you still go to the gym but you just do a lot lighter weights. And the reason why is typically because you just came off a hard couple weeks of hitting some big numbers and you need to give your body a little time to rest and your central nervous system a little time to recover. And since my body is really beat up from the past couple weeks of training, I decided to drop back and hit the Viper Press. And all that that is, is where you combine your log clean and the press into one motion. So you guys see there, from the moment that I drop down for my clean, it doesn't stop until the log is locked out above your head. It is a really good exercise for building explosiveness in your log clean. That said, most people can't Viper Press as much as they can clean and press. So by nature, it's kind of a deload. Or at least that's what I'm going to tell myself because I have a lot of problems going in the gym and just going through the motions. What you're about to see right here is a 265 Viper Press. And previously coming into this day, my PR was 275. So I know I'm on deload and I'm not supposed to do it, but it's really tough to say no when you feel good and you think that the weight is there. So I loaded 280 just for a five pound PR, deadlift it up, explosive, lock it for a split second, and call it a day there. From there, I jumped right into conditioning. If you guys wanna hit pause, you can see exactly what it is, but I will be talking throughout this so you'll have a good idea of what to do. I use quite a few different templates to program my conditioning, but this one is based off a two minute round. So you have 30 seconds of one exercise, immediately into 30 seconds of another, immediately into 30 seconds of a third, and then your last 30 seconds is rest. You do this for eight rounds and you have 16 minutes of conditioning and it doesn't really feel like it because you broke it up into 30 second sections. So if you wanna give it a try, go for it. Don't concern yourself if you don't have the special equipment like kegs or a jump rope. You can swap out any three bodyweight exercises and put it in this template and by the end of 16 minutes you'll be worked. As far as what I'm actually doing on the video is 30 seconds max effort keg clean and press directly into 30 seconds max double unders, which I keep messing up. And then I went into 30 seconds of bodyweight man makers. If you have never had the extreme pleasure of doing a bodyweight man maker, it's basically a burpee that you can't do efficiently. So you drop down, you perform one push up, you rotate, do another push up, rotate, bring your feet in, stand and jump. There's no way to get around the work in this. Believe me, I've tried. Anyway guys, eight rounds of that was what my conditioning was for the day. If you guys want to try this out after your next workout, go ahead, plug in whatever exercise you want into the template that I explained earlier, and I promise you, you will be a better person for doing so. All right guys, video recap. So, the 280 Viper Press went really well. I was happy about that. I actually loaded 290. Was not happy about how that went. Um, not a big deal. I think 280 is a PR, but I'm actually in the middle of a deload week where I'm trying to back off sets. And the reason why I did the Viper Press is because by its nature, you can't do as much weight as you could if you're regular clean and pressing or taking the weight out of the rack. So in my head, that's a little lighter, which equals deload. It's not really deload, but it's what I do. <laughs> so next week, I'm looking forward to resetting those training maxes and getting it's really dark. So next week I'm really looking forward to resetting my training maxes, kind of hitting more percentage work for a couple weeks and then coming back to conjugate and trying to beat the current PRs that I'm at along with a lot of event training for the May contest coming up which you guys will get to see my training for and follow along and hopefully you will like it. So thank you for watching the video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, go to hell. Thanks. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, do all the things you guys do. If you guys are interested in my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, it's all in the description down below. Completely forgot what I was gonna say. Finally, be nice to each other, keep working hard, and I'll catch up with you next time.